Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse, today, November 29th, 2022, Tuesday. Yesterday, Neil Cole was found guilty on all eight counts. We've covered that trial for a while. He was the former head of Iconics accounting fraud on the retrial. He went down. Also, we'd reported on, in the Jufre versus Ghislaine Maxwell case, uh, a number of documents were ordered sealed, but there were some stays granted, and yesterday, another unnamed individual, number 107, got a stay to allow appeal to the Second Circuit, which is uh, atop the building behind me, 40 Foley Square. So um, secrecy continues. Uh, in the impending death penalty trial of Saifalo Saipov, uh, yesterday in front of Judge Broderick, uh, there was a juror that said that they couldn't impose the death penalty, and then, surprisingly, said that if others said they would do it, they'd go along. Well, both sides said, you're out and you're out. So this is a very slow process, but eventually that trial will begin and we'll be covering it. In the magistrate's court, we covered a woman from Colombia named Miss Valencia, who had come into the country uh, you know, without papers and had been detained by INS, sought asylum because her husband had been killed in Colombia by a gang that was her lawyer called Los Esperantos, like the, the, the sort of fake Spanish language of the UN, in any event. Uh, she's now charged with uh, um, fentanyl trafficking, and she, was a, she might have been released yesterday, but the INS had a detainer, so she was detained. Now let's turn to other international affairs. In Qatar, where the World Cup is taking place, we've been using a figure, which is from South Asian nations that sent the workers there, of 6,500 to 7,000 migrant workers killed building ghoulishly these stadia. Qatar has insisted it was only 40, but now they're, the head of their Commission on Heritage of the World Cup said it's five, four to 500. So it's an admission, but it also shows, like, they're not even counting. Like, how many bodies are there? Don't count on the U.N. to find out. The U.N. is in the bag for Qatar as they're in the bag for China. Even as China beats up journalists to cover up these anti-Xi protests, the U.N. has said nothing. We put in questions, but they didn't answer them, and we're not allowed in to ask them. And those allowed in are just selling Guterres. But more on that to come, December 9th. To be a continued.